Alright, so in this video we're going to look at Office for Mobile and on this uh, version I'm using the Nokia Lumia. So as you open up Office there you'll see um, we can open up from some of our locations. So we've got on the phone, um, if you've had it saved there or if you transfer it through a, a USB cable or something you'll be able to access your documents there. You can also get it through email, OneDrive, or Office 365. Um, then you, as you swipe across right or left, actually, whichever way you go, you'll see uh, here's the, the documents which you've recently opened um, or edited. This is something when I was testing earlier for work, so I've transferred it via USB cable onto the phone and then just had a play around with it there. So uh, down the bottom here, you'll see if you tap these little dots, and it just comes up with the letters, um, with the words underneath what the icons kind of mean. I think it's pretty basic of understanding what it is anyway, but they felt that was necessary. And in here, you can make blank Word or Excel. Um, and back here, I don't know why it isn't on on there, but if we was to go to phone, um, you could also have a sample presentation there as well. But for some reason, that isn't. Um, oops, on the, on this list of new files you can have. Not exactly sure why that is, but we'll push on anyway. So let's open up. Uh, in fact, actually, let's go back. Let's first of all let's open up a sample spreadsheet to um, see what Microsoft says. You know, is their kind of showcase piece. So here you can see. Uh, we've got a number of tables and uh, with a bit of formatting on them and uh, some totals at the bottom. So if we were to click on there, then you would be able to see up in the bar at the top here uh, what that formula is doing. It's some pretty basic stuff at the moment, just C5 minus D5. And uh, the same with the rest of them, they're just, just doing some um, minusing one cell from the other. Uh, down below, we've got um, a table here. I can't seem to edit that, but anyway, it's putting numbers from. We'll have a look at making a chart shortly. Uh, and we've got some other t cells down here, and this is doing uh, a summary of uh, of these areas here. Unfortunately, it's not quite like the version you have on your your laptop, say. Uh, and it is a bit limited, but also, I mean, you're very restricted on the screen size. They've had to make some allowances and also for processing speed as well. Um, if you're going to be doing anything really on this, um, well, you know, you, you'd want to do it on your laptop and then maybe transfer it across. Um, it would really take a long time to set up something like this on, on such a device. So it's more, you know, just, I'd say more viewing for quick access so you're on, on your way to a meeting you need to double check something and your laptop's dead or you didn't bring it with you or something like that but you can access it on your large screen device then you can have that um, I wouldn't really do anything else with it it's, it hasn't got huge functionality uh, you'll see one thing I, d I don't like about this is that if you was if you wanted to uh, into text into here um, it wouldn't matter if you double clicked or anything you know it doesn't pop up with a text there you have to manually click on there and when you type stuff in you can see it doesn't actually appear anything you enter doesn't actually appear in this box here which is quite annoying it's only when you click away from there that the text or the value is actually visible um, and I don't like that I like to see it in real time uh, as you type, like you would in uh, Excel for um, on your laptop or something. Uh, the other thing is to actually copy things. You can't. There's no option to just copy that and take it away to to somewhere else. It's um, you can only copy the text, and by that you'd have to click, and then you copy, and you come over to a cell here, and then. You come up here again, and you hold it down, and oh, it's, and you press there, and then it still doesn't show you. It's only come up in the box at the top here, and you click away, and then it will appear. And it, it's a bit clunky and slow, and it's it's not really too usable. Um, you can't take the formatting from there and just 
copy it across somewhere. They just just haven't included that um, anywhere. If you wanted to uh, format a cell, um, then you'd have to click. Well, we'll just click on a cell there, and then we can make the text bold, and we can um, we can we can change what it's doing. It's 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 just not very usable. I I'm not a big fan, I must say. I uh if I was going to do anything, I mean I've got an Office 365 account, I would just go through a browser and log in and you get a bit more functionality like that with the the online version rather than this, but that's only if you've got obviously um a decent internet connection otherwise you you're kind of stuck with this. Um let's have a look at putting a chart in so we can select uh, actually, if we select these two rows here, let's do columns even, and we'll just select the chart option, and we can have column, line, pie, bar, area. Let's go for a, a scatter graph. Okay, so let's just enter that there. Um, I don't know how to, how do I go back? This one? Yeah. I don't know, sends it off somewhere else. See what I mean? It's just, it's rubbish really. I've got to say, I'm just going to do like a positive review for this. I don't really have too many good things to say about it. It's, you can see for yourself it's not so good, but it has some functionality. If you will need to do a bit of, maths more than you know like a normal calculator on your phone could do and you want to actually do it with some data or something by all means that this will let you do it you can enter some uh, some functions these are a list of functions that you can do some of them are you know are a little advanced actually uh, you'd be su I was I was surprised actually some of the things on here um, I wasn't quite expecting such as the V lookup or the index match you could you could put these in there um, and then there's some nice things like or doing the square roots and um, some ifs, things like that. Standard deviations and variations. Um, there you go. So we've got lookup, uh, V lookup, lookups. And you can do an index match. And we'll just scroll through the list here and see. So you can uh, you can do left and right um, functions as well. These are. In my line of work, I, I use this sort of thing quite a lot while uh, taking data off of computers and or servers. And often they'll have text in there which is uh, has been added, and I, I I can ignore that. And I want to do it very quickly, so I'll, I'll use things like this. But that's not the sort of work I'd be doing from a mobile device. Not not for this one anyway, just because it's got limited functionality. So so these are your options for all the um, functions you can perform. Let's have a go actually of changing that cell size. No. Oh, there we go. So we can change the size of a cell. Hidden the cell there. And I have absolutely no idea how to how to get that back. I think it's just gone forever maybe. Oh, well, that's that gone. So don't try and <laughs> don't try and increase the height of the cell because you will wipe off other cells and you will never ever be able to get them back again. So um, I think I'm going to leave that there. Obviously, that we saw earlier, you can flip between your sheets on here. I don't want to use this. It's just hurting my brain having to to use this. Oh. I don't want to use username or anything. Um, let's have a look at the sample document. Now, Word uh, obviously you can make some nice notes and stuff on here. And if you're if you're if you want to write something and maybe a bit, a bit of a draft report or something, um, this could be quite handy. It really could be. 
and you can email it back to yourself and you can edit it then from a browser or something like this or your 365 account could be um, yeah could be quite nice but um, let's have a go at editing there we go so we can we can uh, choose here and we can start typing some more in what's the paintbrush do okay so we can change that and uh, see what we can do well, it doesn't really give me so many options like I quite thought it would do, but hey, it's not uh, obviously the same version as you would get uh, on a PC or something. So, a little image there. It looks like you can insert some tables and some text boxes. I own some graphs as well. You can apparently import them all. I would say doing that would be a huge hassle it's not something I'd really want to be doing on a mobile device do I want to save it no I don't do I ever want to use that again not really no and uh, they'll give us a little preview here of what they think we could do from a uh, from a presentation so we've got some nice colors and things in here to show you how amazing this is uh, and I'll just six six slides only and it looks like you can do a maybe a full presentation now what if we tilted this Would that there we go so you can do a bit of a presentation there um, I'd probably say if you turned up to a client with this and tried to give them a presentation on their device like this uh, they'd laugh you out the room so I wouldn't recommend you when I did that but there you go these are some of the things Microsoft has um, tried to help with and actually probably hindered everyone by doing so um, looks like we got a few other things here let's have a look at uh, so we're looking at the gender. Okay, so there's some nice basic word processing here. Nothing too special. Um, what else have we got? Let's have a look at the outline. Okay, so you can do a bit of formatting and indent your text as well. And let's also have a look at report. Okay, same thing really, just with some title boxes or title formatting. How about let's have a look at budget? We've got this pretty simple looking spreadsheet here, some dates and unfinished values in the cells, event scheduler. Just a table that's been slightly formatted. And mileage tracker, I'd say that was going to be the same as last. Okay, so there's no data in there, but overall average. Oh, you can see they've used a nice little lift statement there. The concentrate function. Okay, you can change the volume or something so that's really about it uh, there's not a huge amount more you can do with this so you can add a SharePoint site as well if you wanted to you get a search function as well oh so we can go across the different parts of where you would access your files and that's about it um, 
Highly recommend you don't use this this app um, or even a, a Windows Mobile. They I'm really not a fan of them. I much prefer a Windows PC over a, an Apple Mac, say. Um, but I just there's no way you can use this phone or this this office package. It's pretty it's pretty useless really. If you've got a laptop, don't don't ever use this. There's never ever actually. Even when I was trying to transfer files, which I'd made on my laptop and then transferred over to to this device to test around with, uh, you'll load it up and it just says at the top, "Cannot edit um, this spreadsheet," and it will completely lock every cell. You can't do anything with it. You can't edit it or go up to the bar at the top and enter anything. It's completely locked. It didn't matter what I did. It just it wouldn't allow me in. So, in the end, what I actually did to get around this uh, around this was to create a document in the in the this mobile app, save it to the phone, plug a USB cable in, and transfer that to my laptop, and then change and copy and paste the stuff from the sheet which I wanted onto there, and then moved it back across and opened it up, and. Um, it was too too long. It just shouldn't work like that. It should just be if you put a, a document on there, boom, it opens up and you can use it. But for some reason, they decided no. Um, you know, guys, we're gonna we're gonna make a Windows device uh, which is just useless. And if anyone really wants to do any work on it, they won't be able to do anything, and they can't really share any files or anything. So. Yeah, complete failure, Microsoft. You really need to sort that out um, and improve it. I have seen it for the Android devices for the tablets, the newer version, and it has much more functionality. It looks and feels a lot more like an Office package. It's really quite usable, but for this mo, I mean, this mobile version is terrible. Absolutely useless. But that's what you get for buying a Microsoft Nokia phone. So. Um, Go on their app store and download some. Oh, no, you can't because no one makes apps for Microsoft, uh, Nokia, or whatever system they're trying to pull off there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Good luck. Um, leave your comments in the section below.